Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Folly, and welcome to Podcast 3.1, where we're going to talk about diffusion and molecular motion in gases and liquids, not solids, because they don't move around as much. Increasing heat increases the increasing heat, sorry, increases motion and diffusion. That's basically mixing and spreading out. Define temperature and heat. Use energy thermal, E-T-H, for heat, thermal energy. And I'm like, I have a thermometer working, and then we're going to explain why we have the temperature scale in Celsius. So let's hop to it. Things spread out. If I jammed you all into a corner and left like this, going to put you on this corner, what would you do? You'd all spread out. Okay. Our energy causes this drift. This drift is called diffusion. Um, this isn't bad for a gas if you think of a, an odor spreading out or something like that. And you can see this as time goes by for a liquid. It starts out very concentrated, but it spreads out, and eventually it will be one uniform color. Okay? This is called diffusion. Okay? The drift is called diffusion. It's caused by energy. Gas is diffused, too. So if I start off with, oh, I don't know, let's just say somebody, oh, I don't know, um, let's just say that there's someone named Alec, and they create this wonderful smell. Okay, These things right here would be the regular air, right? So the regular air is kind of spread out, even in pretty much the same spot, but this is going to go and spread out and fill the whole room. So if Alec created this smell, and I'm over here, I'm like, ah, I don't smell it, and then I'm over here, and I'm like, Oh no, there's a bomb of smell right here. And it'll eventually get there. How fast it gets there depends on the temperature. So this is called diffusion. Diffusion is movement of gas particles across the space. So here's gas particles, and they're going to spread out everywhere. And then that smell. Ah, ah, and then you get all that smell in there. And that's because the gas particles keep spreading. You didn't have to squeeze this to make this happen. You just take the lid off, and they would slowly do the same thing. These things move because they have heat energy. Really, it's kinetic energy. Yeah, kinetic energy is the energy of motion. But heat is the total kinetic energy, including mass. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. More energy means the particles spread out faster. Well, no kidding. If I have more energy, I'll run faster. If I have more energy, I'll run farther. So more energy means you spread out faster. And spreading out is another word for diffusion. Okay. Which do you smell in your room first? Bacon cooking or cereal? Why? Now, we have, first of all, I have to admit, can you smell bacon? Yes, I can smell bacon. Can you smell cereal? Yes, I smell frosted flakes. Okay. If I was in my room, I would smell bacon if somebody's cooking bacon, but I wouldn't smell cereal and the reason why is because this is hot right you cook the bacon that's what the hot part means so the particles move faster and the particles move faster so they reach my nose faster <laughs> ah. Ah. does that make sense cereal is colder so it takes longer, and because it takes longer, it's such a little smell then that you might not even notice it at all. Ooh, temperature is not heat. Temperature's average kinetic energy, huh? What was heat again? Heat is total kinetic energy. Mm, temperature is not heat. Okay. Temperature is the average kinetic a drop of boiling water, more temperature, or a giant ice bowl. Hey, there's a giant ice bowl. This one has, hey, get back here, has more heat. Okay, why? It has more particles, right? So even though these particles shake, mm, mm, shake a bit, But lots of them. 
they could have more energy than a drop of boiling water, which moves quickly, 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 but only a few, a few. Okay. Why does a cold swimming pool have more heat than a hot cup of hot coffee? Cold swimming pool has more mass. High cup of coffee has more, ah, why do you keep doing this? More average speed. So the average one is faster, but I just got more of them. Kind of like if I have a million people give me a dollar, or I have one person give me 50, I'd rather have a million people give me a dollar. Heat. Heat is often shown as ETH. <laughs> Energy that is thermal. Therm means warm, it means heat. Wear your thermal underwear to stay warm. Heat is measured in joules. You can't think of it as how much ice it will melt, mostly. Measured by a calorimeter, and what you need to know right now is not a thermometer for measuring heat. Temperature is measured in degrees Celsius. That's measured by a thermometer. So, thermometers. Measure how hard the particles are beating on it. So here we go. Here's this. If I have particles hitting this really hard, boop, 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 won't the particles move faster? And if they move faster, <laughs> won't they look more like this, which spreads them out a little bit more? So if it hits a little harder, it goes a little faster, it's going to go into that. Now what happens if the particles go from actually like this to slowly less energetic? Won't they kind of crumple back down to the same size and be smaller? Measure how hard the particles are beating on it. So, more energy means moves higher. So, why does this move higher? Boom! More energy. Bam! I'm hitting it harder. How did we get Celsius degrees or degrees Celsius? Scientists were looking for baselines that people would understand. So, you need to say something's hot, something's cold. Water freezing is really cold. That was our zero. Water boiling is really hot. That was our hundred. We live in between those temperatures. Okay, so water really is the most important thing in our lives. Oh. So we live between those temperatures. Review. Diffusion means spreading out. We look out on diffusing. Diffusion happens because of energy, heat energy. More energy means faster diffusion. ETH is heat, thermal energy. Draw a picture of hot and cold with particles in a thermometer. You should be able to do that. And Celsius is based on water, and I'm based on the joy of chemistry. And I will say doodles to you tonight, and I will say go Cubbies.